What's going on YouTube? I am back. We're here to talk about woke SJW foolishness as always. And in this video, we got a woman who hates families with every fiber of her being and reacting to the dumb stuff she has to say about, uh, about Trump and his support for families. I mean, it's a weird thing to be upset about, but uh, that's where we are in 2024. And we've also got some stuff about July 4th. Hope you had a good 4th of July. But as I always say, first up, you want to help me out, hit the like button and subscribe button as well. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit all notifications because I'm struggling here. And now you've got Zuckerberg here. No one is buying that this lizard freak motherfucker is like a normal person. Okay? <laughs> no one's buying that for a second. You're doing this, trying to cover up for the fact that he's wearing a bloody skin suit. He's a goddamn, he's a goddamn lizard person. We, <laughs> we all know that bloody freakazoid weirdo. Mark Zuckerberg suppressing free speech and celebrating censorship on the 4th of July. Your low life and just some of the ridiculous takes. God help us. Check this out. A flag outside of somebody's house. I just automatically assume you racism. Almost definitely, but we felt that way for years. Like, I'm 51, and uh, even as a kid we knew. It was understood. If there was an American flag at their house, they some racist-ass white motherfuckers. That's just, that's just what it was. Still trying to be a victim at 51 years old, still playing the victim. Still crying about it. Do you want a tissue? Cry about it? Do you want some Metamucil? <laughs> Oh, God, it's so pathetic. People just latch onto the victim narrative and never let it go. No matter how successful people of uh, a similar ethnic background to this person get, always trying to be a victim. Millionaires, still a victim. I thought everybody thought that or knew that. Um, it's funny to see that they're saying it now and it's like it's kind of new, but no. Yeah, been thinking about that, thought that forever. I'm sure she could get a plane ticket to any continent out there and um, take a one-way trip. But she doesn't. I wonder why. And this guy's talking about the same thing. Flags. Country. Lots of American flags and Blue Lives Matter flags. And it was really making me uneasy. And then we came to this cute little town called Hudson. I guess it's a famous whaling town. And I see a lot of flags like this. Totally felt my nerves come at ease. I'm sure families with kids felt the opposite. Now let's move on to this. That's what people think. That's what the SJWs think will happen if Trump is elected. Because there's talk about Trump having a Project 2025. And this news has got the left, got the SJWs freaking out like you would not believe. And look, I'm not against a bit of crusade action. I can't. <laughs> And here's the chick talking about families, okay? Because it's in regard to this Project 2025. Let's hear what she has to say. Look, I'm a fair man. I'm willing to give someone a chance. The Republican Party's agenda for women in this upcoming 2024 election is pretty clear. They want us married to men and having their children. And that is the only thing they want for us. They don't want us to be single mothers. They don't want us to be in same-sex relationships. And they definitely do not want us to be childless. And if you don't believe me, this came directly from their playbook, The Mandate for Leadership, on Project 2025's website. Let's start here. On page 13, promise number four says that they want to secure our God-given individual right to enjoy the blessings of liberty oh my god it's over it's done and dusted call the police call the fbi call the bloody call the united nations we're going to end this right now intervention in the united states right now don't let people have their liberty not even once we can't have that that is the end of times this woman she's just uncovered the plot thank god she's got the smoking gun right here it's all over wrap it up trump put him in jail right now okay it's over so this person is literally upset about protecting liberty. Okay, let's continue. They say the pursuit of the good life is found primarily in family. Oh, no, no. Families, promoting families. Without families, we do not exist. Every single person watching this right now, you're here because of families having kids. Going back generations, that's all it's about. Families having kids continuing the species if we follow their rules if we follow the woke rules men with men women with women and all that type of stuff 
the human race does not continue marriage and children. On page 451, one of their goals for the Department of Health and Human Services is to promote stable and flourishing married families. Families comprised of a married mother, father, and their children are the foundation of a well-ordered nation and healthy society. 100% correct. Because when you have a look at the stats of, of kids who grow up in single parent households, as compared to with both parents, the rates of negative outcomes is significantly higher than if you've got two parents. And that's not to say that every child growing up with a single parent is going to turn out bad. That's not saying that at all. But your chances are much higher of a negative outcome. Unfortunately, family policies and programs under President Biden's Health and Human Services are fraught with agenda items focusing on, quote, LGBTQ equity, quote, subsidizing single motherhood, dis disincentivizing work, and penalizing marriage. These policies should be repealed and replaced by policies that support the formation of a stable, married, nuclear family. Working fathers are essential to the well-being and development of their children, but the United States is experiencing a crisis of fatherlessness that is ruining our children's futures. Mind you, nowhere in here in this entire document are they addressing the root cause of fatherlessness. I agree that fathers not sticking around and looking after their kids is a major problem particularly with one community out there, which I'm sure she would not mention. And I think you know the community I'm talking about. Larry Elder and Thomas Sowell have mentioned this in the past. There's one group out there which is seriously lacking in the father department. And it's causing massive issues. But I'm pretty sure this person would not want to go anywhere near that topic. No point have they held fathers accountable for this, but I digress. In the overwhelming number of cases, fathers uh, insulate children from physical and sexual abuse, financial difficulty or poverty, incarceration, teen pregnancy, poor educational outcomes, high school failure, and a host of behavioral and psychological problems. By contrast, homes with non-related boyfriends present are among the most dangerous place for a child to be. HHS should prioritize married father engagement in its messaging, health, and welfare policies. So they are pushing that women stay married to the fathers of their children. Notice how she just glossed over all those positive things about living with the natural father, about living with the biological father. All those things she just glossed over to get to the point where she can say the government's trying to force women to stay with men. That's not what they're doing. All they're saying is that is the best outcome. If the parents can stay together and raise the kid, that gives the child the best outcome. If we can do things to encourage that, that is what we're going to do. Like, like, what's wrong with that? You would have to literally hate families to not be supportive of that. Or hate kids. So does this person not want the best outcome for kids? Because the numbers show that the best outcome is two parents. That's it. Done and dusted. There's no debate about it. Two parents of different genders, of different sexes. Together. That's the best outcome. So God forbid the government would try and encourage that. Maybe it's a shock to this person because the current government in the United States is doing the opposite. And if we're talking about Trump's 2025 project, apparently this is the, um, I think it's a good plan, but let's check it out. Hamburger cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. 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 Inside of Hope you having a good day as always. And as I always say, get the peons the hell out of my stinking house.